connected to the real half mind. So I watched this video. It's unedited, as the author stated, so naturally it's going to be a little rough. It was a rant, and that was coming directly from the content creator's mouth. And to me, most rants are hard to follow, and most of this video had me stuck like, <laughs> but I'll get into it. He had some things right, and some things he didn't. So did the comment section. Also, some things it didn't. And please don't go over there and bomb his video. If you got something constructive to say, then let him know that. He started a few times about to give us what the actual problem was with the whole Kakiru Perry thing, but rambles on to something else. From the very beginning of the video, he mentioned having nothing but bad experiences within the fighting game community, and now despises it, but never actually says why which is what I and a few others thought was the whole point of the video. Now, given my age, I was FGC before the FGC was FGC. It's mostly been the opposite for me. These days, the handful of folks out there that I talk to on a regular basis, I'm cool with, and most of them can tell you a couple of things about me. He likes Majin Buu and typically doesn't care about most people's opinions except the ones he actually talks to. And I say that to say this, I agree with him in saying that relevance in some parts of the FGC solely rely on how big of a name you've made for yourself. But it's like that in just about any community. Not all top players are respected, or liked, or get passes even if they've worn a crown. I know quite a few folks out there that despise most of them. Hi Maddie. Which ties back into the whole perfect parry thing. Yeah, you and Punk had the same thought. Punk said it out loud, you did it. And not too many people listened to Punk in regards to that at the time. That goes even further back into your Rashid video. You had some good points. But here's the thing about being a lesser known player slash content creator like myself. A lot of what you say is going to fly way under the radar. That's just how it is. And at the end of the day, if you don't like playing fighting games, then don't play. If something is stressing you out this bad and you have the choice to not do it, maybe opt for that. And you don't have to interact with anyone in the FGC. I've played so many casual matches, I've lost count. I've never gotten done with a match and hit them up or have them hit me up and say, hey, we gotta talk about that match and every single thing we do after that forever and ever. Did we just become best friends? Yup! That's, that's nah, bruh. That was an option you had and still do. It's also an option to click that like, subscribe, and notification bell and even drop a comment below. Any part of any gaming community or any community period is going to have not so likable people. Some you agree with and some of those people don't agree with you. End of the day, most things are an opinion except for frame data. It's math and according to the animation, it looks like it doesn't make sense most times, but that's a video for another day. Another of the complaints was that people who disliked a video didn't come back to change their opinion or drop a comment saying you were right once the strength of Rashid's situation unfolded. That is just about any place online where you drop an opinion. A lot of people want and done videos like most Street Fighter 6 matches and move on. In a perfect parry kind of world, everyone would have come back just to say damn, you were right. But here again, you were right. It's not always a top tier or recognized player who discovers something first. Multiple people figure these things out at the same time. Some post, some don't. And not all that post, even popular ones, get seen by the majority. I've seen things in the desk video that come up months later like it's brand new. It happens. It sucks to see someone leaving the community, but if you've had nothing but bad experiences, I guess leaving is the best option. And last but not least, you did mention watching Button Shake, so I reached out to Nesto Boogie to give the closing thoughts here. All right, y'all, so here's my little two cents of how I feel about this particular topic. Shout out to the homie, The Real Half Mind, because he reached out to me. He was like, yo, I'm gonna make this video. I would like to know your opinions and perspectives on this particular topic in this video, right? All right, so we're talking about this video right here uh, from Kaiva or Kaiva Talks, right? Entitled Despise the FGC, where this member of the FGC goes on to talk about his current frustrations and how he enjoys it and almost like he's built for it. But at the end of the day, he has trouble accepting certain parts of it because he feels like if you're not a pro player or a pro content creator or personality, you literally get treated like nothing, right? If you are a top player, you get the best parts of the FGC. But if you're not, 
you're almost like left in the dust and treated like a secondary citizen. And oddly enough, he goes on to say that he watches Button Check and he enjoys watching Button Check because he can see all the news right there rather than having to learn or you know dig through it himself because he says that would be brain torture. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, that's why I appreciate Button Check. So yo, Kaiva or Kaiva, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. I appreciate it, man. Hope I don't offend you or anything like that with this video, but since I was uh, pulled into it by the homie, I figured I would just give my two cents. I do agree with some stuff that you're saying uh, because I think there's a lot of people that feel that particular way in the FGC. So anytime we're in a particular community and we feel like we're not getting that respect, that attention, or maybe just not that love that, that we seek, uh, and if we receive the exact opposite, where people are just talking shit, or hating on us, or lying on us, we see this all the time, right? It's instantly gonna start to build up a wall, uh, physically, well not physically, I'm saying we're not building a damn wall right now, but you know, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, all that stuff, right? And then one day you're gonna wake up and you're probably gonna make a video like this and you're gonna talk that shit. Lord knows I have, I have over, I was just talking about it the other day, I have over a thousand videos on my channel. I've vented a lot of times. Either it was on Butt Check or on the Patreon, I will speak my mind. And I've always made that comment, right? I always said, you are not real FGC until one day you've said to yourself, man, fuck the FGC. Then and only then are you truly FGC. So anyway, if I can give any parting words, I would just say that every community, not just fighting games, not just gamers, but everybody, sports, athletes, politics, religion, everybody has a particular community and everybody at one point or another has these type of feelings and frustrations, right? I, I'm a firm believer that you can't put everybody in a box just because there's a few bad apples or people that don't like you. It's granted, this life is huge. We are in a huge life. There's going to be all kinds of people that don't like you. Sad, but it's true. You're not for everybody and everybody is not for you. All you can do is keep it pushing. Make sure you're doing right by you and the people that you love and then find the people that you do click with. Find the good out there because trust me, it is out there. Whether you find it in one person or a dozen, it is out there. Kaiva, Kaiva, how either way, how you pronounce the name, hey, I appreciate what you can go in through, man, because we all know this life has a way of getting you down and making you just see all the shit that's down there, but Lord knows, thankfully, we don't have to stay there. And as always, it's about to get better. Trust me, I mean that when I say that at the end of every video. Peace. Huge thanks to Nesto Boogie for coming out to help with this one, and a link to the original video that we both watched will be down below in the description.